Yes, so, yes, so, yes, so, it's your boy Cybersonic Tista. My DM podcast. You gotta say it three times Tista, Tista, Tista. Special shout out to all the businesses in South Africa. Uh, I think, yes, we, we all level. What, what level is this? Me, I forget now, bro. Alam knows it's an endemic, bro. It's an endemic now, endemic it's, it's an, just it's the streets endemic. are open. It's, it's one level down. <laughs> so streets talking, are open, no curve. <laughs> so I'm talking to all my business owners. All my business partners, uh, come to the podcast, come work with us. We'll inform your digital strategy, your online strategy. And we, we do nice things on digital. You know, e-commerce. We take it from online to the store and store back so the rents go up. Hit us up on the email that's going to be on my screen. And yeah, we got salespeople that will talk to you, you know. But as always, uh, you know, we're known for bringing the best artist exclusive content and we this episode is just one of those again you know what i mean i've got a very sultry uh uh sister here or should i call is it a sister or a queen i, I don't know you, I you think, yeah i think queen i think queen is befitting man <laughs> eh? we got jessica up in the house jessica was had hey how are you doing i'm fantastic first of all i love your aesthetic thank you let's talk about that what's the aesthetic what's the what's the who designs it who puts it together what, what's it inspired by well you know the aesthetic is the aesthetic but uh. lately it's been put together by my phenomenal stylist Musha matthew beautiful yeah so beautiful um, i think you know you know if you want people to recognize you uh, for who you are if you want people to actually got you. notice you you need got to dress you, accordingly got you. yes be on brand all okay. the time even if you go to the shop yeah brand. yeah <laughs> Is 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 a fashion brand, a fashion line? Are we looking at that? What are we? Because you know, it's in the pipeline. Okay, it's cool. In the pipeline, it's okay, coming. Cool. I don't want to give out too much. Okay, but it's coming. I mean, but you have a name though. I Can do. we get the name? It's Jessica L M. Oh, L M four. Laura Marshall. Oh, Sir. okay. So, who's Jessica? Where's Jessica from? What is Jessica about? Why music? Why songwriting? Why? Why? So Jessica is a. Shall I call myself a phenomenal? Okay, no, own it, girl. <laughs> it's 2022. Um, Jessica is is a a very vibrant, energetic, okay. God fearing female, born Beautiful. and raised in the west of Johannesburg. Okay, west right. West right. Do comes rest to be specific. Okay, cool. Um, I love music. I'm uh, passionate about it. It is my first love. It gotcha. is probably my only love after my the love of my life. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and um, I don't know, man. I just I love music. It's mm-hmm. in me. I'm it. It's me. Songwriting because. I love to speak from a perspective that people can resonate with. Okay. You know, if most of my songwriting, if it's not a story that 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 I e- either heard from someone, mm-hmm. um, then it's something that I've personally gone through. Mm. You know? So in most cases, for some reason, people feel safe confiding in me. And in most cases, I put myself in their shoes and I inv- I imagine what it's like in their shoes and I write from that perspective. Beautiful. You know? So it's something that, that, that really heals me, that I really love doing. But music, you know, that's okay. where you find me. Something that caught my attention, I mean, where does after come in? I mean, is, uh, where does the music and the film, or was hey, it for about film or you music? Did, you did your research, didn't yeah, no, you? Girl, I got tabs on you. <laughs> no, we so. stay on brand. <laughs> we to go. My dear podcast. Girl, yeah. I know who your yeah. ex boyfriend is. Oh, I know no, AJ. Don't. don't worry, you don't. <laughs> you don't. I ain't never dated nobody before. <laughs> if you're my ex, I don't know you. <laughs> so, after comes in, um, Ectenini. I studied music. Okay. And acting at Avda. So okay, cool. I, yeah, I did live performance at Avda. And okay. That's it. That's Between it. acting and music, is music, I'm, I'm presuming music is first yes. or which one? M- music, definitely. Okay. If acting was, I would have been there, but no. Okay. Do you come from a musical family? Not really. Well, people in my family can sing. Not but the I'm the only mic. No, no guys, my mom can really sing. Like, my mom's got pipes for days. My dad, on the other hand, was an actual musician, although I didn't get to know him as well. Uh, but um, I know for a fact that my dad was 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 very big in music. Um, he had instruments. He he was connected to some music choirs that we know today. You know, so um, I think the the musical background comes from my mom and dad. Hundred yeah. percent. Let me ask you this, Jessica. What do you understand about the game that you you presume other artists just don't? The game is the game. And the mm. game won't change. Okay. If you want to change anything, change how you play it. Okay. You understand? Because um, 
unfortunately it's the sad truth is that people get exploited all the time got you you don't want to go into the game uninformed and you don't want people to tell you what to do you want to do what you want to do how you want to do it because then if you don't you are fulfilling someone else's purpose for them got you you know so if you want to get into the game go in there informed do your research and do what you want to do as well as you want to do it don't ever let anyone tell you how to shine your light gotcha. shine it yourself on that note what type of situation would you say would reference what you're echoing right now that you went through personally um as a like i guess the first huge incident you're like you know what nah i wouldn't call it huge you know because i managed to handle it but it's the type of thing where you step into the industry and um someone wants to sign you and then obviously your songs get released get released get released but you don't get anything for it in return you know um you you get promised xyz but you don't get that because they know what their benefit is out of you you know so a lesson out of this as well is if you can't be independent do it if you need someone to plug you get them for the plug but don't sign to someone that you don't trust enough you know dogs in the game are, are so you so you are kind of like smart. signed by someone and then kind of yeah are you signed yeah. currently not really i'm what's not really with, jessica not it's really you said or not not really means it's i'm not signed to a a a what's this called a label yes not signed to a record label but what's the what's the situation with whatever situation you got going on right now yeah i'm signed to a distribution company oh got Metro you mode. got you yeah got you okay 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 <laughs> i think a lot of people don't understand um the the music terms you know for mm. example yeah hence you should explain do your distribution deal with electro yeah your licensing can be with someone yeah. else got you. depending yeah. on what you're getting yes. got you and and to hear a female artist ex- echo this that's that's really dope because yeah. not many i mean with guys it's worse mm. but the females taking an interest in this in this type of you know knowledge yeah that's really that's really crazy who, who put you onto that music did you go through like a summer website or a friend told you about it or is that all coming from after what getting into the industry just the music knowledge no it's all coming from after oh all coming from after that's powerful Solely after. apart from that before i went to after i started working as a backing vocalist and you know i did some gigs on the side here and there so i was i was in connection to a lot of people that are in the industry and i would always hear how they speak of the industry and from there i took notes as to okay do this don't do this Befriend this one, don't befriend that one. If you do befriend that one, just be careful. Okay. Mm. So, yeah. Let me ask you a real question. Talking about the dogs in the industry, has anybody required you to sell bums for an opportunity? No, I don't think anyone would have the guts to ask me that. Okay. I put you in your place very quickly. Oh, so you shut that energy down if one fun, time. It's fun. If I we're gonna you. if we're gonna get into a session and we say it's two hours, it's two hours max, and I get out of there. I don't even stay to entertain people's nonsense. Got I'm you. not the type of person. I love my me time, I love my Netflix, my show max. So I wanna get into studio and in most cases I go with my work prepared. You know, okay. get to studio, do what I gotta do, get out. I love that. I don't want to be too accessible. I don't want to uh, be too available. Okay, Because cool. then I need time to myself and to my family as well. Okay. Give me one one advice you would give a young, <laughs> beautiful, energetic, black sister trying to get into the game. I'm going to give you the advice. I want you to look straight into the camera. All right. I'm going to give you the advice that I wish someone had given me. Nah? You don't have to sell bums to anyone to get into the industry if you're good enough and your work speaks for itself then you've got nothing to worry about put in the work put in the effort and then watch it pay you beautiful let's talk about your sound let's talk yeah. about music me i want to afro piano music. as she put it on your bio or something yes trying, what's afro piano the, man because la, 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 yes, in, in afro piano i i don't think it exists yet but it's gonna exist because jessica lm exists okay now and i put that on period okay now no, it actually it actually it actually does exist but I, does? but but i think from a conversation that i heard with a, with a friend of mine who's also in the game uh. was that they it was like basically saying um let's say if a david or uh or i uh, like you know that afro beat yes if mm. you infuse it with piano like the vocal and yeah. the vito yeah and then it becomes afro piano, piano. Okay. but i think it still stays as i'm a piano okay jessica what's your brand a, what's your brand of african feel african piano what is afro mine piano. what's your brand of afro piano 
What do you mean with how would you explain? Like, how would you explain your yeah, your yeah. your basically basically oh, what you're okay, saying? So cool. it's 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 you taking the sounds of e e Afro soul uh, or, or or Afro Afro what's the Afro beats, yeah. Afro beats okay, cool. and bringing it into a piano. Okay, you cool. Know? Just that merging of the two. And who's your favorite artist in the game you've worked with? Like it was just such a vibe. It was just you yo. There's a lot. Stuff. Give me give me a couple. There's a lot. Give me a couple. There's a lot. Um. Oh my word! Where do I even start? I, I think everyone I've worked with has have have been a vibe. Yeah. I'll start with with um, U, was a Sabza. Okay. We we'll see, yeah. Yeah. Well, Neo is not a he's not an artist, yeah. but he's a dope producer. Yeah, I got you. You know, um, Yonko as your okay. Sertro, Pasitana, your TJs. Got you. Um, yeah, there's a lot. Your you. Josiahs, okay. Jazzik. Yeah. They all, they all, they all a vibe to okay, work cool. with. But then also at the end of the, at, at the end of the day, wow, I can't even speak. <laughs> <laughs> I think I think it it all depends on the energy you bring. Mm. If you're gonna come with the samba energy, people are gonna be samba to you. Okay, let's but talk about the one that came with a not so proper energy. Who was that? Hey guys, I'm such an icebreaker. Come on, Jessica. Ice break- no, like, Jessica, Jessica, Jessica. I'm such an icebreaker. Me nang ngiel tani kani so me. Okay. If I'm gonna if I'm gonna walk into studio and it's cold, I'm gonna tell you guys. I'm gonna tell you guys. Me shafuna ma. Come on. For real, like I'm 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 that icebreaker. Yeah. I'm, I make jokes. I want yeah. people to be happy, you uh. know. And mang bonu okay too late cool. I'm also gonna keep quiet even after I've tried to break the ice. Oh, yeah? I'll keep quiet if you don't you want join to. Join the train yeah, of ice. I try. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all chew ice. Give me a bucket if you must. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, but yeah, no. The people I've worked with are really cool. God, God, God yeah. has really favored me in that regard because bonke la banteng se benzenabo. Okay. It's it's always a vibe, like it's always a good time in studio. Okay. Like when I love having a good time in studio. Got you. That's how I work at my best. Got you. you know? So yeah. What are we trying to do, Jessica? What are we trying to do in this game? I am trying to take over this game. Take over how? Take over my piano or no, create a new genre no, altogether. Not, not just the piano. I'm trying to create I'm trying to create something people have never seen, something mm. people have never heard. Okay. You know, I'm trying to create a genre. I'm trying to create I don't know if you've heard my song that I released No Citizen Deep recently. Yeah. It's called Jaw. Okay. That is a language that I made up. Are you yeah. serious? Yes. But that record is hot though. Thank you. Okay, Thank you cool. so much. Okay, That's but okay, hold up, hold up. Let's <laughs> recap. What do you mean you created a language? No, for real. Like what like okay, like how does that happen? Um so he came to studio. He was actually recording on Kosasana. Then he had another beat. And okay. Like, Just jump on. Let's see what you got. Uh, I listened to it the first few times. I was like, mm. you know, sometimes when you've worked too much okay. and your brain just doesn't Yeah, just function. a freeze. So I, I'm a very spiritual person as well. Got you. And so I was like, you know what? Play this thing. Let's hear it. He plays it. We went out to go buy food. I remember we went to Kota Jo. Okay, cool. Come back. I had to play that thing. I didn't know what to do. I stood behind the mic and I prayed. After that, we went. Oh. We went. Thankfully, I did something before I, I actually stood b- b- behind the mic, mm. and C- Citizen was actually recording it. Mm. So I was like, "Oh my gosh, send me that." Got you. And then I didn't do exactly what I did on the video. I did something better. So I was like, "We've got it." Got you. That's dope. <laughs> I wanted man. to change it so many times. We took this thing in one take. It was like, "No, yeah. it's, it's done. I'm happy. Yeah. It's done." Yeah. So since then, I shame. Yeah, that's timber, mind you. That's timber. Like. <laughs> you got a, you got a couple of projects coming out. I, I mean, do. what's 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 t- tell us about this, bro? Um, I am. I heard a birdie drop it on the eleventh. Of course. You know what I mean? <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Um, so I'm dropping a project very close to my heart okay. on the eleventh of February. Okay. Please be on. What's the, the name of the project? That. It's called Jubalami. Okay. Yeah. So what does Jubalami mean? It's my dove. Oh. Yeah, my dove. A dove is a representation of what? <laughs> You know when think of Avbob. Okay. Avbob? Yeah. You better Snap. pay me. Yeah. Better pay me. <laughs> <laughs> Free advertisement. Avbob holla at us. You know we here for you. <laughs> is it Avbob or is it is it Dove? No, no it's Dove. Dove. It's, sorry, Avbob. She just lost the bag. <laughs> and she just lost the bag. <laughs> <laughs> no, but Avbob hit me up. Dove. I'm on you. <laughs> sure. So um think of Dove. It's a funeral. Yeah, parlor, parlor you business, know? yeah. Usually when someone passes we 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 send condolences with a dove. dove. Got you. So Ichuba is a dove. Okay. And this song is centered around a mother who loses her child 3 months after having given birth to him. Mm. And that mother is, was my well is my mother. She's still mm. alive. So um for the longest of times I know my mom has been trying to avoid the topic but every year on his birthday I can see how emotional So she this is. is your brother that came after you or before 
before you. Before me. Okay. Before me. What was his name? Ludwig. Okay, Ludwig. Yeah. Yes. Okay, beautiful. Thank you. So. So that's that piece. Type yeah, of. that piece type of you know yeah. trying to pay tribute how many yeah. that's 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 powerful. That's so, deep. So so the song is basically the first verse of a so- of the song speaks um, from my mom's perspective. Mm. Mm. Dust to dust and ashes to ashes. Um, fast forward, I gave birth to a son and death raises my son for me. You know, and then the second phrase of it is is the part where I now sing to him and say, I wish I knew the color of your eyes. Were they any similar to mine? I wish I knew the brightness of your smile in the dead of night, you know, mm. and then it goes on to say, mm. and then and then in the chorus, I say, So that's what the song is about. Wow. It's very close to home for me. It makes my mom cry every single time. It's not even Jeez, released yet. Jessica. But yeah. I, so this I, is a single, right? Yes. This is a single. Yeah. Is it off the album? Are you anticipating an album? Or an what EP. are we doing? An EP. An EP. Okay, single, cool. then EP, then. Okay. What's the name of the EP? You have to give us exclusive. To, nah, no. nah, it's just we'll drop this when the EP comes out. No, <laughs> you see now. Let's, you let's see? focus on <laughs> Jubalam for now. Let's focus we'll on the, the EP. Comes the name out, of the single is Jubalam. <laughs> the EP is. <laughs> I try, guys. You want to give us exclusive? No, 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 no. No, you have to stay tuned for that. Yeah. <laughs> Three favorite apps on your phone, right now. WhatsApp, Instagram, and. Uh, hmm. What's my third favorite app? Snapchat. Okay, so of the three, which one do you use the most? Instagram. Instagram. Um, no. Can we sanitize? We need to sanitize. WhatsApp. We need to sanitize that WhatsApp. No, hold up, hold up. Is it WhatsApp or Insta? She said Instagram. It's, I like the first one. It, which one do you use the most? Between Instagram and WhatsApp. Okay, cool. So I'll 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 so stick to last, Instagram so, so that you don't so, deviate from what so you wanted to say. So let's. <laughs> Let's, let's take out the phones, right? For the sake of my idea and podcast, the last three messages. Uh-huh. On Instagram. We need to read those out. We need to sanitize. We're, sanit- we're, we're fixing That's the country. That's sanitizing part. This is, what? No, no, no. The president has deployed us, Rabo, because Which president? No, the South African president has deployed us to, to, to sanitize. No, I need to... Hold up. Listen. <laughs> <laughs> I want to understand people. it with the for ideas. The people, I'm going to get out of here. No, we're doing it for the people. We're doing it for the people. we have been deployed by the, the, the state to sanitize the, the situation online. Uh-huh. So this is part of the, the culture Don't of... of, of I'm not archiving anything. I'm, I'm actually opening the phone for you. I'm opening so the three, phone for three you. So three last messages. You know what I mean? Three last. No, no, messages. hold up. Bring it okay. here. I, I need to. I, I need to sanitize on behalf of the state, Rabo. Just so we, we get clarity. Okay. Do you have to read the message? No, no. Uh, hold up. Hold up. I'm not reading. <laughs> What's in there? <laughs> What's it? Okay. Do you want to confess anything? Guys, Club there's nothing day? to confess. My private life is my private life. I can give me like little This is for the internet, hun. If I give the internet what it wants, then give the internet what it wants. Uh, who's 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 Tando? Is it Tando or oh, Tando? Tando is a hand that just um tag me on okay, cool. a, a video that she posted of Ijo. Oh, okay, beautiful. Yeah. Uh, oh, so, so you're very close with your people. You communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I, I really, I really love. You don't mind the deal. The, no, okay. guys. Okay. I, okay. Right? When the I have the time, one? I do respond. The to. second one, Musha Matthews sent you a video, but like a congratulative video. Something. Yes, Musha yeah. Matthews in the room. Who, who's that? But that's She's the designer, in the room. right? Oh, yes. okay. Yeah. Oh, Musha. Okay, no, <laughs> that, that's that's don't that's no, that don't count. No, that don't count. I see a nigga who's my name Zano. Yes, King Zano. Okay, who, who who's that? Zano is is Zano Urban, the one that sings oh. So I recently did a song okay. with him. Okay. And I think it played on Kakazi last night. So uh. he sent me that video and I've been posting it on my stories. Okay. Since. I see so, so you so you you stay now that we, we said three, bro, you can give it back. No 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 I'm, you know I did I'm sanitized. Give me to my name, dog. Hey, look. <laughs> but look, my thing is um it's it's always great to see that. It's either you 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 connecting with your people, yeah, and you're very in touch with what you do with your work, yeah, and it shows with the way you so eloquently well spoken. Do you know you. what I mean? Thank and for the fact that even your Instagram right now, you are just there talking about the music. Where do you get time for your private life for a relationship? I was about are to go into that. I don't now? see I, I, um, where the like, niggas at, girl. Um. <laughs> no bad. <laughs> But what's that situation? Ain't nobody got time for no niggas. <laughs> nah, come on, Jessica. You so, so you, so you, nah, single come on, right Jessica. You single? That um, that is for me to know and for you to, for you guys to find out. 
Okay. No, 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 hold up. No, 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 hold up. Hold up. Jessica, 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 <laughs> <laughs> Jessica, is you single or not? I'm not You don't know? No, I'm not single. Oh, is it, okay. Is it serious? Very. How, how, how long has it been? Um, two years. Two years? Yeah. Okay. And how do you balance that now? With, with your passion for music? So what I do is whenever I'm I'm going to work on something, usually I know if I'm if I've got a gig this weekend, where it is, what time I'm going on stage, you know, um, what time I need to leave home, um, how far we're traveling. So then I start working back from there. If I know that I have to be a so Portugal, you make time, yes. Basically. If I know that I need to be in Portugal by by what 10 p.m., I know what time to board my flight. Before then. I make time for my people. I prepare before then. Um, if I've got studio sessions, I know with the maximum two to three hours. Do you go to it. sessions and gigs together at times? or Yeah, at times. How's that feeling? It's right. <laughs> it's good. Okay. It's really good. So you, you, you got other, like, you know, artists there, you writing, they're writing, he's just there, you know? Um, not really. Jessica looks like this favorite so one. So he's like a muse, baby. Jessica looks like this favorite one. Me, I want, me, I want drama, Joe. There's gotta be something going on. I like Boma, you know, rich niggas sliding in like you see, motherfucker. Get your act together, <laughs> knuckle. <laughs> anyone, anyone, yeah, from, drama, bro. anyone from the industry that you've, you know, either slid into that or you wish you would have. Like, hey, this guy. Just crash, NJ. Even know. if just, you know, crash, NJ. Three industry crashes. So, South African? South yeah. African. Let's keep it low. Let's keep Yo, it low. Guys. South Africa is so small. <laughs> oh, it's big now. Just three. <laughs> I really have to think very hard. Oh, Jessica. I said that's better now, almost. So three artists that I wished I had slid into their DMs. I'm gonna can I can I can I say it based on looks? Anything you want. Yo, 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 Anything your choices. you want. Money looks no my in. Yo, I in the South Africa guys. Ah, come on, Jessica. You see how hard I have time to think is about. No, but time is going. Why is it that hard? As we are like you on again. That's how we close it off, one. For real? Yeah. Oh shit. Yo, we're so tired. We're trying to see the lab. I'm giving my camera. I'm not going to pull it Um. Nah, not that one. Don't be, don't be politically about it. Just you know, it's the because uh, now you you said not that one. To, which one was that one? Which that one you, said you see? Not that one? You, you're no, trying to be political. The fact that I said not it. that one means that you're not gonna get the name. Right. Okay, top three. I'm just gonna say the people that I think are really good looking. Got you. Not that I want to slide into the DMs or anything, but top of my head, um, good looking. I'd say Oscar Mbo. Okay. I'd say. Talonga. Okay. I used silence at two hours. Very. Fire. And who else? I'm going to put my brother on this one. Trill. Hey, so no, trill. But, oh, okay. I, was like, <laughs> I thought you made your blood brother. Okay, okay. <laughs> I know. So, ladies and gentlemen, now that you know the top three, you kind of know the what criteria. her taste is, the criteria. You see, that's what we do on the podcast. <laughs> Let me just slide. <laughs> you know what I mean? Jessica, Um, you, you give me a good vibe. Thank you so That's much. That's the first thing. Thank Second you. thing, you're on a mission, I could tell. You know what I mean? And we just want to wish you health, success, and, and really everything else. You. you know what I mean? Um, uh, very deep meaning. I love it. Very symbolic. Thank you. And I think it's going to do wonders for you. Thank you.